well, this was n never anything I wanted to do. I wanted to be a Christian <laughs> singer. I didn't want to be a minister. It wasn't until about six years ago that I even knew that people had demons still and that Jesus was still using people to cast out demons. Yeah. Um, I first encountered the power of God six years ago and my eyes were opened and I surrendered to Jesus for the first time in my life. I was a Christian my whole entire life, but it was, wasn't until I encountered the power of God that my eyes were opened up to how amazing Jesus is, how real He is, how loving He is. And that's what moved me to want to surrender to Him on that day. And so from that moment, I had this passion to see people set free, healed, encounter God's power because it changed everything for me. I witnessed demons be cast out before me that day six years ago and I could see, wow, people can be free and healed. Jesus really can do it and He's doing it now. Yes. Convulsions? Like seizures? She's been battling speech for the last two years and she hasn't spoken a word in about three months. My wife used to be a worship leader. And um, the enemy took her voice, so now she's unable to worship. You now deliver me how you want. Heal me how you want. Thank you, Jesus. I detach you from these seizures now in Jesus' name, and I break every generational curse off of him. I command you, on the count of three, to leave her body. One, two, three. You have to leave her now. And I de detach him from autism and every diagnosis put upon him. And I declare on three, every spirit attached to which she renounced, every spirit of autism and mental sickness must leave in Jesus' name. One, two, three. About nine months later, a prophet prophesied to me at a conference I attended that I was called to be an apostle. Wow. And I was shocked when I heard this because I really wanted to be a singer, a Christian <laughs> pop singer. Yeah. And public speaking was my biggest fear and weakness, literally. Mm. And I loved listening to preachers. I did all the time, but not one time was I like, maybe I'm supposed to be a preacher. <laughs> maybe yeah. I'm supposed to do that. Not one time. Mm. So. When I heard this, I was shocked. I really felt like Moses when God called him. Yeah. To, and he's like, I can't even speak, I stutter. And you want me to be a mouthpiece to millions, mm. you know? Mm. And, but Jesus said, God said, I will give you the words to speak.